So we now realize that if someone comes in with SCAD and they are stable, even if they've had a heart attack but they're not having ongoing symptoms of chest pain or they're not unstable with regard to their hemodynamics, we can just watch and wait. We know that about 89 to 95% of SCAD heals on its own if the patients are left alone and just manage with a beta blocker and aspirin. However, in folks that are having ongoing ischemia, so ongoing chest pain or hemodynamic instability uh, or they have uh, no blood flow to the distal vessel in those individuals we will try to open the vessel with stenting we know that it's much more difficult to stent these people because of the irregular nature of the lumen of the blood vessel and so there is an increased a risk in doing stenting and a decreased success rate in the stenting of SCAD vessels but in experienced hands today, if proper techniques are used, we do have pretty good outcomes. Now, there's another, in addition to stenting, there's a new type of treatment that's being done in some institutions, which is where they'll use a cutting balloon to go in and open the vessel and relieve that pressure in the wall of the vessel. And that's one of the newer techniques that's being used. So the research is really directed at looking at ongoing um, development of techniques that might be applicable especially in the sicker patients. One thing that we're doing here is we're actually looking at a series of SCAD patients from elsewhere but we have the data that were treated with Impella mechanical support and to see if the patients who are very sick are managed carefully with uh, mechanical hemodynamic support uh, how well they do over time.